Does George Lucas own a spaceship? That's a question I've been asking myself on a daily basis for many a year. Along with, does Seth Rogen have the answer? Well, apparently he does. I had this meeting with uh, Steven and um, and he came into the meeting with George Lucas. That's Seth Rogen talking to Howard Stern about a meeting he had with Steven Spielberg that George Lucas tagged along to, rolling with the big dogs. So what happened next is that SS took a call leaving SR to perform some awkward chit chat with GL. Lucas is wearing a, a denim, an all denim outfit you said. All <laughs> denim, head to toe denim. <laughs> Denim shirt, denim jeans. And, and why was Lucas so weird? It was like, I forget what he said to you. But I think it was, it was like, either late 2011 or early 2012. And I don't know if you remember at the time, people thought maybe the world was going to end in December of 2012. There's, right. a, there's a movie about it that came out. I feel like the conversation was this abruptly. We were thrust into it this fast. How's it going? Not great. 2012 is coming and the world's going to end. <laughs> <laughs> Which, <laughs> great, great starter, like great opener. Um, Where do you go? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. The double denim stuff might be the most controversial thing I heard there. The spaceship's still to come. But did George Lucas really believe the world was going to end in 2012? Or is he a deadpan comedy genius? I mean, his Star Wars humor wasn't exactly deadpan. How Spaceship time. He really seemed to think the world was going to end in 2012. And to this day... I am confused by this and do not know the reality, but he implied he had a spaceship. That was the implication, was <laughs> that, that was in, in preparation for <laughs> this event in 2012, there was an implication that he had some sort of contingency plan <laughs> to leave the planet. <laughs> uh, we, 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 Evan, my partner, jokingly was like, can we get a scene on it? And he said no, <laughs> which, <laughs> which, which is what made me think it was not a joke. Because if you were joking, you'd probably be like, yeah, sure, you have a yeah, sure. Look, I want to believe that the man that gave us the greatest space opera of all time has a spaceship. He can afford one. He's currently worth 7 billion USDs. And according to NASA, the Space Shuttle Endeavour costs approximately 1.7 billion. So maybe he thought, well, I might as well sell my company, stock up on supplies, and get my denim-clad ass off this doomed planet. In a denim spacesuit, of course. So could this be the real reason why he sold Star Wars? It's hard to believe, isn't it? But this is a story Seth's been telling and sticking to for quite a while. Here's a quote from a 2011 interview he gave. George Lucas sits down and seriously proceeds to talk for around 20 25 minutes about how he thinks the world is going to end in the year 2012. For real, he thinks it. He's going on about the tectonic plates and all the time Spielberg is rolling his eyes. Like, my nerdy friend won't shut up. I'm sorry. So apparently Lucas has acknowledged this and stated that he was joking, but 25 minutes is a really long joke. Maybe the old classic I was only joking was him backtracking after the world didn't end in 2012, because hello, we're still here, just. So maybe he did believe it and then didn't. We all know he's prone to changing his mind after all. Lucas believed first. Now you could say that Rogan has nothing to gain from telling the story and sticking to his guns in believing it, but he does now have a book to sell that this story features in. So there is that. Ultimately, we may never know whether there's any truth to any of this. And that's fine, I'll sleep at night. But I would say that there's probably more chance of George Lucas owning a spaceship than returning to Lucasfilm to take over Star Wars. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. I'm Jamie Stangroom and I do not own a spaceship. Do you? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to cyber like this video and subscribe to The Geek End for content on Star Wars, Marvel and more.